for those that are watching us on stream. Thank you for coming out tonight. We have quite a full agenda, so we're going to get on to it right away. Unfortunately, our young singer we had the last time, I think he, uh, he got promoted to a better job that paid. <laughs> so if you would rise and join the CIO and sing in old Canada. That was good. Please join us in a moment of silent reflection, please. Thank you. Have a seat. Okay, we'll go over to Council of Awards and Recognition. Is there anything out there? Council of Noel. Thank you, Your Worship. Uh, the Ontario Ball Hockey Association is hosting a tournament at uh, Allison Memorial Arena this weekend. It's um, February 14th to the 17th. So if you get a few moments or whatever, go out and show some support. They really appreciate it. Thank you, Councillor. Councillor Jeb. Uh, thank you, Worship. Just a few announcements. Uh, we would like to wish uh, Mary Kerr celebrating her 103rd birthday on Valentine's Day. Nice. And she's celebrating, it's a birthday week. It's not just a birthday. <laughs> so she's just doing a little bit every day of the week. So she was out to Wimpy's and celebrated there on the weekend. And the ladies behind heard it was her 103rd birthday and they paid for her meal. So she thought she got a really good deal on that. <laughs> So I wish Mary all the best on her 103rd birthday. As well, um, on Saturday was Food Freedom Day, and that's when the Canadian Federation of Agriculture has figured, calculated that um, through our income, our disposable income, we have been able to pay for our food for the whole year by February 8th. Wow. Unlike we pay our taxes, it's sometime in July, I believe, when we get to pay our taxes. Um, also tomorrow, and your worship, you've declared it, um, is Canadian Agricultural Day. Um, and let's raise a fork for the food we love and the people who produce it. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Councillor Harrison McInerney. Thank you. I'd like to recognize the uh, Tottenham United Church Sunday School kids who raised $800 from their fiesta dinner. Oh. Um, and that money was donated to the Allison out of the cold. Nice. Very good. Good cause. Anyone else? All right then, thank you. Uh, we'll go to uh, the clerk to identify the items to add or delete uh, to the agenda. Madam Clerk. Thank you, Your Worship. There are no additions or deletions to the agenda this evening. Thank you. Look for a mover and a second or then be resolved that the agenda for the council meeting held on February 10, 2020 be confirmed and circulated. Councillor Jeb, Councillor 
Beatty, all in favor? Carried, thank you. At this time, Council, if you have vicarious interest, you can claim an hour when the item comes up. Councilor Matala. Uh, thank you, Worship. CW41, um, Municipally Significant Events, as I run the Beat and Meet Your Neighbor picnic. Good, thank you. Anyone else? Okay, look for a move and a second. It'll be resolved that the minutes of the Council meeting uh, dated January 27, 2020, be adopted and circulated. Mover is in Councilor Foster and Deputy Mayor. All in favor? Carried. Thank you. Uh, at this time, I'll go back to the clerk uh, to identify items for separate discussion and the reason thereof, Madam Clerk. Thank you, Worship. Item CW41, 2020, designation of municipally significant events, as Councilor McClellan has declared a pecuniary interest. And item number three on the council agenda verbal report of the town solicitor and closed re-update applications for an official plan and zoning bylaw amendment beaton station condominium dayfoot street and daniels gate community of beaton case file pl180863 related files pl180864 file number dev374 as this is a verbal report thank Good. you thank you at this time council Identify any items for a separate discussion? Don't see any, thank you. <clears throat> Need a mover and a second to be resolved by item CW1 to CW5 on the Committee of the Whole meeting report dated January 27, 2020, with the exception of those items identified for separate discussion. Be approved and the recommendation there and be adopted. And further, that item CS1 on the Committee of the Whole closed meeting report dated January 27, 2020, be approved and the recommendation there be adopted. Mover and Sector, Councillor Beatty, Councillor Noel, any questions? All in favor. Thank you. CW41, Councillor McClellan has a conflict of interest. Second, Councillor Lacey. All in favor? Carried. Councillor McClellan, you're in. Thank you. Uh, just for, for the public that are here tonight, we have an enclosed camera, but we're not going to ask you to move out of your chairs in case somebody takes it. Well, we're going to go into the side room and uh, discuss it, and then we'll report back out. And we shouldn't be that long in there. Um, Harrison McIntyre and Custer Foster, all in favor? All right, thank you. Uh, motion then that we resume back into open session. Uh, Councillor Jab and Councillor Lacey. Time, Councillor Jab? 721. 22. 22. The verbal report of the town solicitor to a closed session the, the application for the official plan and the zoning by law amendment, Beaton Station Condominium, Dayfoot Street, and Daniel Gate, Community of Beaton. Case file 180863, related files of PL180864, file number development 374. We're now back in open session. All approved, coming back in open session. Okay, thank you. Look for a mover and a second about the verbal report of the town solicitor. Uh, Sorry, be resolved that the verbal report of the town solicitor be received. Move and second, Councilor Noyle, Councilor Harrison McIntyre, all in favor? Opposed, if any? Thank you. <coughs> Motion, uh, move and second, be resolved that the following bylaws be read a first, second, and third time enacted, bylaw 2020 009. Move and second. Councillor Beatty, Councillor Noyle, all in favor? Thank you. Any announcements? Councillor Harrison McIntyre. 
Thank you, Worship. I just want to let everyone know again that the uh, Out of the Cold um, walk uh, is happening on February 22nd. There's a lot of teams registered. I have a team registered if anyone wants to donate stone cold boxes. Um, and uh, we're going to be walking to raise money for the Austin Out of the Cold, which is um, supplies housing and um, temporary housing, as well as um, meals for around uh, 40 residents of New Tecumseh. And these are, from what we heard, a lot of working people who are just, um, there's a lack of affordable housing for them. So good, thank you. There's lots of opportunities to volunteer if you have the time. Thanks. Thank you. Anyone else? Motion then move it. Second or be resolved by bylaw 2020-0110 to confirm the proceedings of the council at its meeting on February 10th, 2020 be read at first, second and third time and enacted. Mm -hmm. Mover and seconder. Councillor Beatty, Councillor Foster, all in favor? Thank you. Councillor Jeb. Um, I move to adjourn at 724, Your Worship. Thank you. Uh, just for the audience, uh, for those that are new here tonight, uh, what we're going to do now, we're now finished the council meeting and we'll come back into the committee of a whole and that's where the, we have public, uh, we'll be involved with the, the meeting now. So just bear with us for about 10, 15 minutes so the deputy clerk can get everything switched over. Okay, all in favor? Okay, thank you. <laughs>